right, today we will be installing Plex in a Docker container on Linux. If you are a rookie like me, go ahead and install a Ubuntu desktop just in case. Um, if not, go ahead and do server, works on both. First thing you're going to do is sudo app git update, sudo app git upgrade. And I'm already good, but go ahead and do that. Um, next thing we want to do is I like for the ease of copy and pasting these long commands, I like to go on putty. So we're going to run these commands right here. You're going to want to do sudo apt install open SSH server, continue. Good to go. We're going to want to do sudo system control status SSH. Go ahead and Q, get out of that. You're going to want to hit sudo UFW allow. And we're good to go. Uh, next thing is if you have the minimal install like I do, you're not going to have the uh, if config command. And if you're on server, this is going to be especially important. Let's install NetTools next. sudo apt install. Oh, I'm on crap. NetTools. And then go ahead and hit if config. And our IP is right here. You got 92. So. Hopefully you have putty. If not, just do this all on the command line. All right. The next step is going to be to install the Docker engine. And this is exactly why I put us on putty. Uh, I like to do this simple, you know, for my people. I don't want you guys to have any problems. So, straight from the doctor site, get right on here. You already did your, your update. Go ahead and copy this little line here. Pop it in and set up the repository. GPG key. Okay. Confirm that it has the key. There it is. And if you got Ubuntu, we're right here. Go ahead and paste that. easy now you're gonna want to go ahead and make sure we got the latest and then go ahead and let's install this sucker now you want to go ahead and make sure that it worked so There we go. Let's pull in the image. Uh, everything's good to go. Next move is going to be to um, get Plex, which right here. Um, honestly, if you want to find it in Google to copy it, we got. Go on Docker Hub, Plexing slash PMS Docker. You want to pull it. I mean, it's going to happen automatically when you go to run it, but if you want to pull it, go ahead and sudo. Alright, so after you pull the uh, 
the container image you're gonna go ahead and what I had pulled up on notepad was just this kind of filled in it's host networking meaning you're gonna use the IP of your host and not the container which is gonna save you a ton of headaches but if you want headaches go ahead down here or go ahead down here and uh, you can get a headache um, we're gonna do this using folders on the host and also um, a shared folder and we're gonna go ahead and before we set this thing up we're gonna set those up so alright so I, I like to go all the way to the top here and then just straight up make a folder called Plex config that's where you're gonna put all your configuration files uh, on the host and then to set up a shared folder I like to go into the media folder and then make a folder called uh, and we got our Plex share there now we're gonna go ahead and mount that the next step would be to get the tools you're gonna need to mount Sifts utils. Alright, I've already got it, so we're all good. Now go ahead and go to your top directory again. You got etc. And now we are going to list our mount pseudo nano f stab. Right, you're going to go to the bottom here. And you're going to follow this format right here. You might have to change this to a 1.0. And there, if that doesn't work, uh, there is another option, but you probably won't need it. If you do, just go ahead and Google it on Reddit. You know, just like the rest of us. But anyway, you got your server IP, your directory. You got the uh, directory we created earlier. File system. Username for the share. Password for the share. And everything else. I already had mine done. We're going to go ahead and save and now to confirm sudo mount a we're all good let's test let me go into media let me go into plex share and there we go we got uh, the folders inside the share perfect uh, next step is going to be to go ahead and run this baby right here we're going to have the docker run like I said, it's on the, uh, it's right here. You can copy all this. It's gonna be, um, that's the folder we made to begin with. That's the uh, second folder we made that we mounted on our NAS. And everything else is pretty self-explanatory, so. So we went ahead and entered our uh, Plex config folder, our movie shared folder and we put everything we needed to put in drop your little sudo in there paste your setup and it should be good to go now we're going to go ahead and test this. you remember your ip right go ahead and add 32400 for the port slash web and you should be good to go let's just make sure our shares work As you can see, our movies folders right there. Don't have anything in it, but configured it correctly and everything's good to go. So that's it. Now you got a super smooth, super secure, containerized, possibly virtual machineized the, uh, Plex setup with a NAS server. So hope it helps somebody and enjoy. Remember, follow, subscribe, and stay tuned for more.